Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans, and today I gotta give a quick shout out to one of my subscribers, Hendog HD. Thank you so much for always sending me awesome articles like this one so I could talk about them on my channel. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's jump into the topic at hand. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about Cuphead Show Season 3. Oh yeah. So here's the interesting thing about this though, right? Some of you guys are going to be like, wait a minute, Cuphead Show Season 3. How did they make this this quick? Because uh, we are getting the news that it's going to be a new batch of episodes will arrive uh, on Netflix globally on November 18th, 2022, which is literally just like, you know, three weeks away. So how did they create an entire, you know, season of the show this quickly? And the answer is, of course, that they didn't, right? They didn't create a new season. What they did, what it seems like Netflix has been doing with some of their bigger shows, they're ordering a lot of episodes. So they'll instead of like ordering 10 episodes, right? They'll be like, okay, let's order 40. We're going to order 40 episodes and then they'll release 10 at a time and be like, hey guys, it's a new season, right? So the Cuphead show, like they did like what, 10, 12 episodes and then they're like, yeah, this is the first season. Then they did like another 15 episodes and they're like, look, it's season two, everybody. And now the hell out of nowhere, we have another batch of episodes where they're now claiming it's a completely new season three when it just seems like these were all supposed to be part of the same season, right? Uh, so this is something Netflix has been doing, like like I said, with a bunch of different shows. We've seen this with Inside Job, right? Inside Job is also coming out in November. That show released earlier this year. It had a 20-episode order, right? 20-episode order. And what they did is they cut 10 episodes. They put the first 10 episodes out earlier this year. And now only in November are we getting the other 10, so they're doing this as a gimmick for subscribers. They also did this with Stranger Things, by the way, um, where I think they released some of the episodes in June and then like the last three episodes released on July 4th for Independence Day in America. So yeah, you're seeing this time and time and time again. And I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of it. Uh, it's obviously they're doing it to get their subscriber numbers up. It's very obvious, right? Uh, oh, it's like, hey, guys, do you want to watch the Cuphead show? You know, you got to do it right in November, uh, right? Because November, December, that's right around Christmas time. You're going to see YouTubers making a lot of videos at this time because this is advertiser heaven, right? Uh, right when it's Christmas time, that's where m most people have a little bit of extra money and they spend it. They splurge. So, you know, some kids might be like, can we get Netflix so we can watch the Cuphead show? That's my theory on this one. And uh, yeah, uh, you guys can see right through it. It's very clear to see right through what they're doing here. They're trying to extend their shows, cut them in half and uh, say they're a new season when in reality, they just want to get those subscriber numbers up. So, yeah. Uh, but you know, I am happy to see more Cuphead. Many fans suspected that the show was over or, you know, would it be coming back for more? And the answer right now looks like yes, but also er, later on in this article, sadly, um, you know, we do, we're going to talk about this. The Cuphead show could end after season three. Uh, so that's going to suck, but yeah. Let's get a quick recap of what's been going on with Cuphead. You guys might remember, spoiler, spoiler alert, that Mugman got captured by the devil. So let's talk about that in a sec here. Uh, so Netflix has unveiled season three of the Cuphead show. Uh, it will be hitting our screens in mid-November, which is apparently going to be around uh, November 18th, uh, or exactly on November 18th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, based on the popular 2D side-scrolling platform, The Cuphead Show has been a faithful adaptation of the series that first debuted on Netflix in February. Uh, yeah, no shit. No shit. That's because it feels like it was all one season and they just chopped it up. No shit. It's been faithful. Oh my God, these people. Uh, following three weeks in the global top tens, picking up 47.29 million hours watched between February 13th and March 6th, we went on to see the second batch of episodes months later in August. Yes, and I did reviews of both of them, I think, yeah. Uh, going into the next season, uh, you know, alleged season of Cuphead Show, uh, we've got a big cliffhanger to resolve from season two. Yes, uh, per HTC, in the final moments of episode 13, the devil says that since Cuphead has taken something of great value from him, he will take something of great value from Cuphead. And obviously he takes Mugman away. 
Uh, and Netflix themselves have released a brief synopsis of what to expect from the third season of the show. Okay, here we go. Uh, from hijinks and heebie-jeebies to holiday cheer, this, this season's got it all as the boys go big to trick the devil. Uh, one of the things I'm I'm kind of like not sure about is how is Cuphead going to go down a hell? Like, is there a portal to hell? Like, how is Cuphead going to get down a hell to rescue his brother? That's kind of something I'm, I've been, uh, you know, kind of interested in. But, um, yeah, we're going to keep going here. So, the impulsive Cuphead and his easily swayed brother Mugman in the animated series uh, based on the hit video game. The new ba- – oh, did I miss a line there? Yeah, follow the misadventures of the impulsive Cuphead and his easily swayed brother Mugman in this animated series based on the hit video game. The new batch of episodes, The Cuphead Show, will arrive on November 18th. So, there you go. Uh, 2022 on Netflix globally. So, everybody gets to watch that. Even us here in Canada. Hooray. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then this is the salty part of the article that I was like not, you know, I was like, oh, come on. Really? It's going to end already? Uh, in an exclusive interview about the Netflix show, Animation Magazine revealed some key. I, I usually, li- I really like this site. You guys should check out Animation Magazine. I use a lot of their articles in my videos. They're really good. Uh, They revealed some key details on the show that could suggest the show will conclude after season three. And this show is high budget. You could tell by the animation here that they definitely put a lot of love into this show. And uh, I am not surprised to see it end this quickly. Netflix has been canceling a lot of shows. We've seen it. You know, Um, there was that cult classic show. What was it called? Midnight Gospel. You guys remember Midnight Gospel? That show got axed. Then they axed a bunch of shows that, like, thank God, actually, some of those got axed. Like, uh, what was it? Anti-Racist Baby. Thank God garbage like that got cut. Uh, But, you know, it was sad that some shows ended because, you know, it it seems like Netflix is restructuring. Their stock price took a tumble, right? Uh, For the first time ever, right? Netflix had, ever since they started, they had growth year, month over month over month. And then for the first time a few months ago, they reported that they didn't grow. They they're, they're, they peaked, right? They hit their peak. There's not many more markets that they could grow, go into. So, you know, and also they try to blame it on the war with Russia where it's like, you know, oh yeah, you know, it's because of that. That's the reason we, why we stopped growing. But, uh, and now they're trying to get into video games. I did a couple of videos on that kind of stuff too, if you're interested. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, things have not been going good for Netflix and kind of, they honestly kind of deserve it. They made a lot of woke cartoons. Not only that, they made a lot of woke garbage. Like they have stuff about like men getting pregnant and got, Oh God, don't even get me started on cuties. Good Lord. Uh, (laughs) little girls twerking. That's exactly what everybody wants to see on their fucking streaming service. Good God, man. So yeah, it, uh, you know, they did it to themselves. They made woke garbage. You know, you go woke, you you get woke, you go broke, right? That's the old saying there. And uh, Netflix has really been feeling it. So they're trying to get into video games. And uh, from the stuff I've read, they haven't been very successful. Not a lot of people are playing uh, Netflix video games. And, um, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how they turn things around. Uh, but let's keep going here. That means the final batch of episodes will make up season three and conclude the initial order. Yes. So that's, that's the whole thing here, right? So they only Netflix just ordered like a batch, I don't know, 30, 40 episodes. And then they're like, Hey guys, we're only going to release 10 at a time. And it's a new season. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, okay. Sorry. 36. So they ordered 36. Uh, Some of the initial 36, which will premiere over three separate drops, are presented as two and even three-parters. So, yeah, I'm I'm just not a fan of this. Like, I I would have rather just watched the whole show in one sitting, you know? Uh, I don't don't like the whole, yeah, we have to watch it, like, you know, three separate times. And uh, I would have rather just, I wanted to get the whole show all at once and just, like, you know, really just absorb it all, you know? I I feel like when when they cut it off into these different parts, it's like, we got the first part in February and then we didn't get the next part till like August. And there was this huge gap. And I literally even forgot some of the episodes of the first season. So it, it's not good. I, I kind of wanted the whole thing all at once, but uh, Netflix does not want you people binge watching anymore. Right. They want, they want that slow burn. They want you to keep coming back for more of those subscription dollars, folks. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Uh, in case you didn't know, because of how animation production works, Netflix often gives upfront orders of episodes that are split into multiple parters or seasons. Uh, this has happened with dozens of kids and adult animated shows. Uh, like not even, not even just their animated shows. Some of their like, you know, live action shows are also suffering from this. And, uh, to me, they're just straight up doing it to get more money. That's my uh, opinion. This method also explains how we can't, how we can get treated to 36 episodes in a year. Um, while we could still get a fourth season, we could see the duo return for another, uh, in another form later. As we often see Netflix animations get interactive specials treatments, for example. Uh, yes, there's been a lot of those interactives, or they'll just make a video game, right? They'll probably make a video game. Uh, for now, season three concludes the initial run, and it'll be down to Netflix to give the series in a renewal order. Uh, I Again, you know, kind of like how they say it could end. Uh, animation is just so expensive. I, I don't know if they're going to bring it back, but it is a very popular show. So I would not either way, whichever way we go here, if we go cancellation or we go more seasons, I, I'm, you know, I, I guess I'll be satisfied. You know, I obviously I'd like more of the show. I like the show. I want it to continue, but if it doesn't continue, you know, there's other shows out there and uh, I will be sad to see this one go, but I understand if they're cutting corners and they need to cancel it, you know, so be it. But, um, I think I basically covered, oh, no, no, wait, there was one last thing. Hold on, hold on, yes. Uh, there was, I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to leave the link in the description. Somebody actually has, I don't know who this person is, uh, Beard Bear, Beard Bear. Uh, this man here actually got the first clips of the uh, the next season here, the first teaser clips. Uh, I, I don't know how they got this, but uh, maybe they were, up, uh, or maybe Netflix uploaded them and he was like the first one to get them, but uh yeah, in this video, you can see the first promotional clip showing the scene from season three of the Cuphead show. The episodes of season three will be available on Netflix from 18th of November. Uh, and one of the things that's interesting here is we see that I already watched it. I'm going to leave the link in the description. But one of the things that's interesting is we already see Cuphead and Mugman together which seems to indicate like maybe in the first episode of season three, Mugman is our cuphead is already going to rescue Mugman, which kind of makes the cliffhanger feel like trash, right? Like it was this big buildup like, Oh my God, he took Mugman. And are we really just going to resolve that in like one episode or, you know, um, I kind of wanted it to be like a multiple part or maybe like, you know, it takes them like half the half of the season to rescue Mugman. And they do like a huge like Mission Impossible thing to go down to hell and uh, rescue Mugman. But no, no, we don't get it. it seems they're going to resolve it very quickly. And that's kind of boring, in my opinion. Uh, it feels like the stakes went from like this to like, yeah, they're, they're kind of low now, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, my expectations going into the season after seeing this clip and Mugman already being rescued have have really lowered my opinion. Uh, but, um, who knows? I'm sure it'll still be some great fun. This show, it's just a great show overall. I love the characters. I love the designs. Uh, I, the voice actors are pretty solid. Uh, and yeah, I, I enjoy the show. So yeah, I do want more of it. I hope it doesn't get canceled. And, uh, I want to hear all your thoughts down below. Are you guys sick of Netflix cutting seasons and shows into little parts so they can keep getting more subscribers, uh, or more, uh, subscription revenue, right? Uh, cause they want you to come back month after month. So you keep paying, right? Uh, are you guys sick of that kind of model? Would you rather them go back to the old binge watch model? I remember at the, remember when that show like daredevil came out, right? That was around the peak of like binge watching with Netflix. They wanted people to, you know, just, I remember at one point they released a video saying like, you know, Fortnite and sleeping people sleeping was competing with Netflix's attention. They wanted your attention. They wanted people's attention and they really seem to have shifted away from the binge watch model. It's crazy though. You know, uh, anyways, I want to hear all your thoughts about all this stuff that I talked about here. You know, are you sick of Netflix? Are you, uh, are you excited for more cuphead? Are you a little bit sad that it didn't take them longer to rescue Mugman? Because that was the big cliffhanger for season two. And to see it resolved so easily kind of uh kind of takes away some of the the you know the pizzazz here. It takes away the uh the severity of the show. So yeah, I do want to hear all your thoughts down below. Please let me know. 
And, uh, you know, it's cool to see that we're getting it this soon on November 18th, but we should have already seen, you know, they, in my opinion, we should have already got all of these episodes already. Uh, that's just my opinion, but uh, I want to hear yours. So please comment down below. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And why not watch an ad for your boy, Sandro? Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye-bye. Have a great day.